quests. That's it. He does. He uh, probably does, right? Luca. Lupario! Oh my, this guy is not serious, bro. Oh, oh dumb. I'm pretty sure he just played random, bro. No. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%. I'm pretty sure he just clicked and random and now. I had to have, right? Fate decided, <laughs> decided for him to play Lucario, and so he does cause. Really, really not happy with this peak and just gonna do 39% of the blue strike in back. God, Lucario, we haven't seen one of those in forever, honestly. I mean, here in a bracket here too. Yeah, it probably was just a random button, but both players right now here, 48 and 58 scores with a pretty, pretty clear lead at the moment here, Zangrips. Yeah, but leads are not as they seem when you're playing against Lucario. 72% could be basically 30 the way that this guy can kill you in the blink of an eye when he gets a little bit of rage. And 75% for base Lucario is actually a lot. <laughs> you don't really do much. Almost that up is gonna kill. Yeah, you have to remember again, basically fighting against Lucario, and even if you're at an advantage, you're never at an advantage. Listen for real. Oh, oh my god, Aurasphere. Aurasphere, Aurasphere putting in the no. work against Scores there, and Bloom's gonna take stock number one with Lucario. Scores playing Tomb with his shield, but that shield really not coming into clutch, man. He's just gonna eat the projectiles. Yeah, it's unfortunate with how big that projectile is, too. It's not gonna clink, unfortunately, there for Scores. He's looking for something, but that now is eliminating all aerial option. But an up air from Scores is gonna take that first off of Bloom. Yeah, the classic. You know, trust and confirm that Scores has lapped out. He oh, has dude, the card yeah. for every single character. And I'm sure that comes into into effect when you're playing against someone that plays uh, the random, mm. such as Bloom. You can get the, the, the combos anytime you want. And that up to into upper is going to be a deciding factor when we're, uh, when we're having a uh, totally new extreme. For sure. I like that analogy of you can use that on any character because, again, it is just practice at the end of the day at that point right like you, you can experiment more and more and more but this is also a tournament set so you're gonna have to bring your a game no matter what there are a couple of down tips coming out here from scores looking to find this kill very soon again the last thing you want is for lucario to build up that rage let alone aura and for it to be an absolutely deadly combo again one's gonna come out there scores not really gonna find much of a follow-up of it but Still struggling, looking for the up air. Isn't able to find it up to looking for a guaranteed up air, and that's gonna take the next stop there. Be sure if maybe uh, Blue Forever didn't do the air dodge down, he would have maybe uh, been able to avoid it. Sadly, that's not gonna be the fate that happened this time. And now Scott's running away with a lead that counter. That's not really gonna hit. And now Scott's bringing some projectiles. Another counter. It's just not gonna work. Yeah, that forward air working its wonders there again. Scores just surviving so much here. 106% looking to take Bloom out, but the back air coming out from Lucario there. 66% already is gonna take Scores out for a ride once more there, but right now Scores has to try and build up this damage as much as possible here because Bloom could really use the Scorer and make it work. If Scores isn't doing anything, it's gonna be a problem here once again. A couple projectiles coming out, gonna try and stuff in that approach a lot more once and more. Yeah, Scores has gotta find something, he's gotta find Nazi, he's gotta find it quick. He needs to find it quick indeed, because now Bloom Forever almost uh, sitting at 100% and now the aura is definitely a factor. 72% is racking it up, the backer that could literally take the, the stuff here, and that's how you say it, it seems. That's not commentator's a person teller. curse, no, 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 that's not commentator's <laughs> that curse. That was insanity, but I knew it was gonna happen. Mm. That back air is very, very powerful. Very, very strong. And Bloom takes game number one with none other than Lucario. Damn. Dude, this is this is cause none other than scores of Lucario. Yeah. No, random. He's gonna lock in random once well. again against Toon Link here and scores has to try and fight this battle. It's an uphill battle for sure, but we have oh my God. little Mac! Okay, alright, okay, okay, interesting. I'm interested to see what the blue Mac looks like. Obviously, as we know, Little Mac's offstage game isn't very good, and Scores can just put the pressure on you to, you know, stay offstage here, but this is Bloom, so let's see how Bloom can adapt to this and whether or not Scores is going to tear him a new one in this game. That's that be out of shield, 43% already for the uh, two Link player. This is a matchup that Scores is really comfortable in. I've talked about this matchup with him, and he really feels that Tony Link also does pretty well against Little Mac. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so he's showing that. 65% that Bloom is sitting on, and Skull's just keeping it simple. Even those uh, tilts that he has are just not really allowing Bloom to get back into that stage. Yeah, KO Punch as well on line for Bloom forever there. That's going to do a significant amount of damage. Can he land it though? But unfortunately, 
It's going to go down there and scores. Doing a really good job of just piling on the pressure here once again. Two interactions that keep him 56% up there from Bloom forever once again. And these bombs just keeping Bloom at bay here, Zagrix. Yeah, as you say, the bombs are so, so important in this matchup specifically. Because you're not really scared of that go. Uh, well, the KO in this Same case. Thing, bro. Uh, I'm still thinking about Rayhan, man. But yeah, the KO just gets... Uh, completely shot down with the bombs as they send it to tumble and is uh, I mean we saw it already and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see it again in this in this game it's just really really hard for for Doom Forever to do something with that KO oh, I'll be though that's gonna yeah. be something strong up till up be there from Bloom Forever that's gonna be a little bit of damage if that back throw is gonna take the first up and scores takes this up after a pretty fairly long first stock. Yeah, okay. definitely. I mean, at the end, Blue Forever directly up a little bit of percent and making it a little bit more even. But now, oh, Till coming in. He's literally a kill coming right now. Yeah, no, you're right, he is. Back throw is going to come out different scores. Looking for that down. He's fishing for that down at quite a lot as an edge guard option, which I, I respect quite a lot. Trying to get rid of, uh, you know, Bloom as quickly as possible there. Once again, nice catch there from Bloom with the down tilt. Hello? Yeah, that he was able to get that percent because he hit him with a with a body the, hitbox. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, the, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Down tilt. So that set up per perfectly into that. Oh. Oh, Amazing. Fair play, fair play to Bloom there. Forward tilt going to come out here once again. Looking to just edge guard, but that side be going to save Bloom. Just a little bit of time from the inevitable, but then nice stuff there, Bloom again, refusing to die, but scores, taking that stock very, very cleanly. There's so much you can do when you're playing a little like man, literally brain and doing miracles, Bloom forever there on the edge guard situation, sadly not really going to be able to do something, the string coming in from Skull, that's good, they are beat to cut off any aggression that's happening, another one, that's not going to get punished. Not going to punish that, no, no, not at all. Old? It's gonna be something. Nice, good use of the down tilt once again. There, good use of the Zed to link the combo in once more, just pushing him out as much as possible. There's that forward tilt Zangrix, and he's looking to do work and scores. Takes game number two. I mean, this is what happens when we get one of the worst characters in the game against tooling in a matchup that's really, really good for him. No, I, obviously, it's it's obvious. You look at the two characters, and obviously you think that project, those projectiles are just going to push Little Mac out as much as possible here. How do you get in? You have side B, you have your forward smash. True, but you can't rely on those options all the time to get in as Little Mac. But again, it's a roll of the dice, and let's see if he rolls a 6 or a 1 here. Right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 this oh is big. God. This is big, and I'm hyped because the blue, blue forever, one. Blue forever could literally be considered top five fans on the entire game. And that's not an understatement there. I'm pretty sure that Blue Forever has one of the best plants here in Smash Bros. I've seen and the he's plant before. It. I've seen the plant before. I am very excited to see what it is capable of doing right here, right now. It scores has a challenge in front of him. Bloom is starting to pile up. The Fatui being thrown out there. It's going to click with the up B, but Scores manages to make it back up onto stage. So, still alive in this. He's going to try to use that Fatui as much as possible to just try and catch Scores off guard. But it seems like Scores is not having too much of a problem getting his hits in. I mean, yeah, of course. This is the thing. Bloom Forever has played this plant on MD before. So, Scores has a little bit of experience. That's when playing your secondaries in tournaments, you know, maybe cost you the, the surprise of having a random. Because he is already ready for the for the plan. So he knows what's up. Many players just do not know what plant does as a character, because he's not a famous character to right. play against. We don't really see plant that often, and I mean, well, I mean, yeah, you don't have many top oh my god, bro, scores oh, hook! <laughs> Cook! Scott is cooking with that bomb, man. From coming to the late hit of oh, that bomb. The there we go. Love to see that Scott's always ready for the action, ready for that tag, and ready for more and more combos with that upper. Yeah. That was like three uppers in a row, and all of them hit. Yeah, every single one of those hit, and I mean, that's that's damage that you need, especially against a character like Piranha Plant, who can really just continuously help build up his own damage here again. Side B is also charged. That poison cloud, we know how much damage that thing can do as well. And it's also a really good cover for down B here as well, which is also really good for shield pressure. Whether or not Bloom is able to set that up is the question here, but Scores is just pushing on the acceleration pedal right now. Back throw coming out from Bloom. Looking to put him away there once again. Victoria being clouded with a dash attack as well for Bloom. It's gonna try and push scores back as much as possible here. That, that dash attack is one of Bloom's favorite tools on this character. He actually rates that move a lot. He says that he's one of the best 
dash attacks on the game. Really? Oh, yes, he actually... We've had this conversation before. It's he said that he's the best dash attack in the game. That I don't really agree with. But let me tell you something, bro. You can't really disagree with the player's blue forever. Yeah. Now it's called with the up. Oh my god, that could have been it as well. But yeah, Blim just trying to look for that second stock to even pop this equation. And the thing is, with Blunt, you can definitely do it. All it takes is one for two here or an up smash or not throw even. And that, that that's it. That's your stock gone. But Scores now has to try and basically build up as much damage as possible because that fresh stock is inevitable here. Zangrix and was looking for that follow-up off the nair but wasn't able to find it once again here piranha plant just smelling blood in the water looking for something once again it scores building it up that's an up air that's a second up air looking for the third a falling and a fourth there as well scores just building up so much damage and this is what you need going into this game building up with the, up, with the upper that we were talking about before such a lean green okay. option it literally lasts for 65 frames. Wow. It does a full second, bro. Wow, that's a long. Okay, yeah. It's insanity. That move is really, really good, and we can see why Spock is using it. The DI, the DI. Yeah, the DI was amazing. Now, Bloom, with the last chance, a miracle happening. Is he going to be able to maybe take this game? Bloom would have to play extra, extra smart around scores to make sure that that is the case, but Plan is very capable of making that comeback. We've seen the amount of damage his character can do, and even if you don't give him a spotlight, Bloom is looking to do that here today. Scores needs to close this out in order to look for that game to up. The question is, can he do it right now? He's looking like it's a bit of a struggle here. Bloom looking for that forward here. Zangrix is not looking too good right now. He's not looking too good. And as I say, he's finally going to be able to clutch it out. Man, when you're in that situation against a player as good as Bloom forever, you had the win there. The kill screen literally appeared. And he's just teasing you out, man. Yeah, man. And you need to do it all over again. Find, uh, you know, an option to, to maybe kill, but... When Bloom Forever plays neutral like that, it's just so, so hard. It is very difficult, and especially when you know that he's feeling more confident, more calm, switching to Bayonetta. All right, he's this not playing it. games. He doesn't want to play games anymore. He realizes he's 2-1 up scores. Obviously, 2-1 up on Bloom Forever. Bloom now pulling out his tried and true ace, Bayonetta. This is going to be interesting to watch. Interesting to watch, indeed. This is not a good matchup for Bloom against Bayonetta. It was really, really good, and Bloom knows this matchup as well. Mm. There's not really many surprises that Scores can provide on these game that Blue Forever hasn't, hasn't seen before. Absolutely, no, you're right. And again, these two have had, you know, they've played against each other a myriad of times before, but it seems like Bloom already 46% doesn't want to let Scores breathe at all, but Scores looking for the down air counter, wasn't able to find it, doesn't even get a little bit of damage on at the moment, as Bloom is just tearing into him at the moment. Tearing in, now trying to look for something, not really going to happen, 15%, and he's just looking really calm, man. 100%, the combo that's good, a natural situation that maybe he's not really going to look for, but he doesn't really need to. No, he not at all. Take it simple. Exactly. Oh, la la. <laughs> With that downer as well, <laughs> it doesn't get more simple than that. As you said, it literally does not get more simple than that. That down air is very strong there again. Bloom kind of playing a little bit patiently. Once again, that up air doing a bit of wonders there. Four scores looking for that obby, but a parry off of the final hit, but no punish from Bloom is going to give scores a little bit of breathing room. But as I say, that Bloom is looking to just put that pressure on once again. A couple forward airs coming out once more. Looking to get that back air. Gets the dash attack. Nice use of the up air, but no one was home there. Or that forward air is not going to kill scores. Looking for something there and takes that first stop. Beautiful to see. As I said, that that confirm is just it's just so important in this in this set. And there's nothing really that, that you can do against it. Not even the the counter that Bayonetta has can save you for such such an important confirm that Scott is providing for the set. Absolutely. Dash attack, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. One of the best dash attacks in the game as well. Yep. And now Bloom Forever just sitting at 40%. I'm a big fan of the uh, the two link portal that's being used quite a lot here by Scores. It's obviously pushing back Bayonetta quite a lot, and it's it's good. It covers a decent amount of the ledge as well, so it's a very solid option there. But you can't rely on it too much, otherwise it becomes very punishable there. And I know Scores knows that as well. Their bomb's gonna come out, bomb drop, but that's gonna do some really nice shield pressure, some nice shield damage there for Scores. Isn't really able to find anything here at the moment. Bloom actually kind of struggling to maybe get this kill. Yeah. Being all the players sometimes is really, really difficult to get a kill with. 
it just, it just seems like nothing works. That backer, Sally, is gonna be a sour head. Now, the ledge trap situation. Is he gonna be able to make it? That fourth throw that could barely take it. There we go. That was literally like 5% away from not killing. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, he was super, super close from that as well. There are a couple bombs being thrown out once again. Looking to snipe Bloom out from the air once more. Down tilt, looking for it. There goes the dash attack once again here. Scores just piling up the pressure, and it is so doable to get that one stock. Once again, we've seen Bloom struggle getting in close against Scores because of those bombs there. The up B not really going to work too much, but Bloom not able to find a punish there. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't really get that route that he was looking for. Maybe a Miss Imp, but no Miss Imp does that matter when you can have another chance. Bloom forever trying to look for the down tilt. That always heads up for a combo that could literally put Scores in 90%. Mm, absolutely. All it takes is, a, like, you know, one Witch Twist off the Burner Kick and you can keep that going and that'll basically rack up your damage here significantly. Off the Burner Kick comes out there, but again, no follow-up there for Bloom and he has to play patiently here. Oh my god, trying to move for the Witch Time for those two decks. Is that god, something that was, can do in the Yeah, man, here we go. Witch Twist take, trying to take him up for a ride. 89% currently, as you said before, very close to 90, but not quite there yet. It is indeed a 90%. It's caused to get this kill but he's just not able bloom forever sitting at 150 percent literally full rage and he just keeps wrapping up the percent yeah man full rage keeps racking it up 149 percent scores has to be living on a prayer right now in order to really make this happen otherwise we're going to a game five if bloom can take this now that is what it's gonna be there that forward the potential up throw coming up from scores and that's gonna take the stock and we are down to one stock apiece yeah definitely coming to clutch having two kill throws it's only one of the few characters that have that benefit you know yeah there we go oh, up tilt forward tilt down tilt okay scores is cooking a little there we go 49 percent waiting for that again a whole second oh, don't let it happen to you 65 whole brains bro. don't do the five that is 65 <laughs> whole brains my boy yeah bro it's, it's just so long it lasts for an entire second there's nothing much you can do even if you're a character um with the with the options oh my god oh my god oh my god oh, my god. oh this is big hold Dude. on scores two to one the significance of this is huge you could send bloom to losers mm -hmm. trying to look for a grab trying to look for an optical oh. you're looking for a miracle though Oh my god, I'm getting, stressed and I'm not even playing. I'm saying, bro, getting out of the situation, but this is what you sign up when you're playing. No! Oh my god, when you're playing Bayonetta, you just oh, come on the back air! Oh my god, and we are all breathing. Yeah, now I can breathe a little, but we, we might have to, like, start holding our breaths again because we're going to game five. Remember, the winner of this qualifies for top eight winners' side of the bracket, and the loser goes straight down to losers, so this is all to play for. Game 5 scores Bloom forever. This is top 8 qualifiers, scores and Bloom forever? How is this happening? How did this happen? But he's going to pit. He's had his fun with Bayonetta. Oh my god. He's picked up pit. He, he's like, alright man, I'm done playing with this low tier character. <laughs> <laughs> this character can just, just kill, man. Bayo stinks, guys. Bayo sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bloom has confirmed it, so he doesn't want to play Bayo anymore. Really? But he's playing Pit. Now, Pit's an interesting character to pick up, actually. I quite like watching Pit. People say that he's possibly... I've heard people say that he is possibly one of the most honest characters in the game. Now, obviously, that's up to debate. That's up to personal opinion, what you think about the character. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, it's going to be very interesting to see how he deals with scores in terms of those projectiles. That down beat, those orbital guards are going to be a massive part in just being able to send him back a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. This is game number five, top eight qualifier between scores. Scores and Bloom forever. Let's get some noise going down there. Let's get started. Jesus, there's crap in, bro. As we were talking, they were fighting. Oh, yeah. 15 seconds on the clock and Scores is in at 83%. Dan, which one is it with people and wanting to actually get kills at like 30 second marks here today? Are they trying to qualify for Yeet Smash here tonight? Legit, man. What is happening? This is just so, so, so quick. There we go. You were talking about them, the camp, well, the, the reflector that's going to come into clutch. Orbital Guard's doing a really nice job and just keeping him at bay there, but Scores using the C drop bomb into its forward air isn't gonna kill, but it was close. <laughs> really, really close, close indeed. Getting, oh, getting this hour is part of that bag. You're sadly not really getting the sweet spot. A little bit from these pays and yet again, and we can see Scores praying to the gods. There's an angel there. 
What is happening, man? Praying to the gods. There is an angel in the form of Hit. Could potentially be your worst nightmare. Looking for a potential punish of it. Looks for the up air. Scores able to recognize it with an air dodge. Stays out of harm's way. He's going to look for the back throw here. It's not going to kill, however. You can keep him at bay as much as you want. Once again, edge guard situation once more here. Scores looking for the nair, but he's able to get the kill. Is Angrix. Oh my god, that's going to be a four. Nope, not in, oh, oh. Not in blue forever. He's going to be able to mash out. Ah. Out there that maybe was a mistake. I would have rather gone for another edge guard situation, especially when you're playing this matchup. And with you can edge guard uh, hit so so well with your bombs. Sal is really really gonna pay off into blues forever. Now, I'm literally seeing that what is happening. I've right. never seen that move feel like that. <laughs> that was a sour spot head. Normally it's tight, and that's really really strange to see. But hey, I'm sure blues are always happy. I'd be too if that would need to be honest. Like that down, that down air, the sour spot hit and then kill him. I mean, to be fair, he was at a very high percentage there too, but seems like scores is putting on the hurt. The uproar just not killing at the moment. 177%, but all oh, it took was a dash attack right afterwards, and scores is now back on the board. Just got the bomb about to explode. Both are gonna explode at the same time. Now, Blue Forever trying to look for something. He's only gonna look to get punched in the face the way that Scores is just grabbing with his sword. This aggression right now coming out from Scores is absolutely incredible. The pressure that he's just been applying so far to Bloom has been immense. But right now, Bloom's starting to fight back a little. You've got to fight fire with fire. Both these players using their projectiles to their advantage. Scores more so. And is absolutely trying to look for these combo routes. Just not able to find it. Nice parry there from, uh, from Bloom earlier on. And yeah, it's just a matter of who can really get in. It's so hard to get in against him when he's just throwing a boomer, a bomb, a something, everything. And when you get in, he can scrap as well with that little, little sword. But let me tell you something, that's strong. That is strong. It is super strong. Forward air, nah, down to, we're looking at all these moves and they are incredibly tough here. But Bloom, able to catch the roll in, gets the neck. Huge stuff there from him. 100% at the moment here, scores gonna be a victim to it though, but the bomb at the right place, the boomerang is a distraction bro, IQ 3000, this is scores! Crazy. That platform just getting on the way, both players have gone into a hex situation, rather strangely, not really something that you see all the time and they're not really prepared to take that well. No, not at all. Not even if you're blue forever, you can get ready for situations that you, you never expect it to happen. Exactly, and it, that's what the beauty of all of this is, is just adapting on the fly right now. Rage on the side of scores, so you already know that damage multiplier is in effect at the moment here. A couple of side views coming out once more, just to keep uh, Bloom at bay. Gonna do all too much at the moment. A couple of Zares coming out as well. Looking for some space in. Gets the up air. Beautiful use of the up air once again. Looking for a second. Looking for a third on the back air, but isn't able to find it. He is just right behind Blue, no matter where he goes. And we did. Blue forever trying to use the. Is it down B? Oh my oh. god, that's gonna take it. That's just gonna take it. We're going to the last talk. You, you can't really talk about anything. There's just. They're just Really, really going in at a, in such a fast pace. It is last stock here for both these players. This is top eight qualifiers for both of these players today here. And I mean, it could go either way right now. 52 to 97%. Hit is more than capable of making a comeback. But here we go. Scores with an up air he shoots. And he scores, ladies and gentlemen. Getting it over Bloom forever. Sending him down to losers and guaranteeing himself a spot in top eight. Congratulations to scores. That is huge for huge, Scores huge right now. Win. And I'm huge sure win. he also wants to go to Brink, man. With that win, he gets so, so, so close. And having now seed one, that's what you want. Exactly. Right in the palm of your hand and an absolutely incredibly close set from both of these players. That was amazing. Congratulations to Scores. Well played from Bloom as well there. I mean, you had to adapt with Little Mac, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is yeah. This tournament has 